What's up, my friends? I hope you're having a great evening. Um, I just wanted to hop on and chat with you guys um, as we approach uh, the new year. Okay, a lot of people are thinking about, um, whoa, time out. There it is, rosy hair. Um, anyways, uh, there's a lot of people um, thinking about you know who they are, what they want to be, what kind of goals they want to set. Um, and that's one thing that I love about the new year every year is you start to see people that are, that are genuinely searching for a better version of themselves and a lot of goals are made, um, and a lot of, um, you know, choices are laid out there. Um, so I know that that kind of brings in the fitness crowd gets a little bit bigger around the new year because, you know, people are like, this is the year I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to do those things that I really wanted to do. I'm going to start going to the gym, all that. So that's, I think that's awesome. That's a great thing. Now the key is how do we keep those people doing that stuff after they've made that, you know, that new year's resolution and that commitment to do it. How do we make sure that that doesn't just turn into, okay, now I have a $10 a month fee for some place I'm never going, right? I don't want that to happen. So I wanted to give some insight on who I am as a trainer and what uh, my personality, what my vibe is as a trainer um, to give a little bit more insight so that if someone is considering Jet Movement Academy, um, that they will you know, understand a little bit better about who I am and how I'm going to run class um, and see if our styles mesh. You know, So the question is, am I the right trainer for you? Um, you know, and I was... I've, I've thought about that a lot over the, the last few years um, since I became a trainer. You know, there's, there's kind of, I had this classic idea of what a trainer is in my head um, and how, you know, how to be a coach and, and kind of what it takes um, to get people going. And I had to ask myself, am I that kind of person? Do I need to make changes to become that kind of person? Should I make changes like that? Um, and the answer was, no, I don't, I'm not going to change who I am and how I do things, um, to a certain extent. Yeah. So what I meant to, you know, what I mean by that is I have to be authentic to the kind of person that I am and to the things that I have placed value in, you know? So for me, you know, in life in general, I place a ton of value on being empathetic and caring about other people. Um, so that's the first thing you need to know about me is my driving force is genuinely in helping people. And sometimes the best way for me to help somebody would be for them to go to some other trainer, <laughs> you know, someone that fits their style a little bit more. But understand that no matter what I do and how I do it, it all comes from that place of caring about others and wanting to make an impact. And I've just had a burning desire since I was young that I want to do something bigger than myself. Um, I don't really know where that came from initially, but I know that it was cultivated by my parents. It was cultivated by coaches that I had. It was cultivated by just people around me in my life that, you know, I connected with that made it very clear that in order to live a satisfying life, it was all about connection with others. And I think it's hard to make connection with others if you don't care about them, if you're not empathetic about their situations and want to help them. Um, so I'm very, very driven by my desire to help you know, so, um, that's where everything comes from. So, you know, the vibe in our gym is pretty laid back. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a non -judge judgmental atmosphere where we kind of just do our thing. Um, I'm not super obsessed with motivation. I'm not super obsessed with getting in your face and drill sergeant and rah, rah, and like trying to fire people up, um, to get them going. I understand that that's what a lot of people need. So right there out of the gate, if what you're looking for is a super high energy flying around, you know, in your face all the time trainer during class, that's just not really what I do. Um, what I want to create is a safe atmosphere for you to explore what you're doing, you know, have the freedom to fail at what you're doing and not feel terrible about it or like you're letting anyone down but rather that it's a process that you're going through to grow, you know? And I feel like I have to step back and I have to give you stuff and then I have to step back and let you try it and let you go through it and let you do it. And that's very much how I coached baseball as well was 
here's the knowledge that I have about this. Here's my perspective on it. Here's why I think that way. Now it's on you to digest that and then either put it to work um, or, or neglect it and, and leave it alone. So, um, you know, that might come across as, you know, a, a more chill vibe than you would expect out of a group fitness class. It's not like, uh, I'm not like a Zumba instructor where I'm like, you know, constantly talking and pumped up and like yelling at you and encouraging you. I don't really do that as much. Now, do I, do I want to encourage? Absolutely. I'll come up to you and be like, Hey, you're nailing this. You know, you, you finally learned how to get your foot in the right, right spot. You know, your, your, your rhythm is looking dialed in right now, you know, or I might come over and say, Hey, you got to switch up your feet. You're, you're, you know, you're moving with the wrong foot first. You know, that thing isn't really swinging. It's just kind of stiff, you know? So it's more of like a conversation back and forth of how do we get you to grow and improve on things? Um, you know, so that's just, uh, hopefully gives you enough of an insight into what we're doing in here. Um, to know if that's the kind of coach that you want coaching you or not. Um, I totally understand why there's different versions. You know, there's, there's people that definitely need, um, an up tempo, energetic vibe just to get them through it because they lack that motivation. You know, I'm looking for people that genuinely want to make a, a lifestyle change and then they just need the information and the tools and the steps to make that change. So you almost have to be motivated on your own um, and, and kind of driven on your own um, to get started. But then I feel like once you get some of that information, you get a feel for what we're doing and how we're doing it and the physicality of it starts to kind of set in, I think that you'll fall in love with the process of it. And I think that the reason why I like that style um, on top of it just being that's how I learn and that's how I do things and that's how I like to do it. Um, I think that creates kind of more of a lasting effect um, that will stay with you as a lifestyle change rather than, you know, I hate this stuff. I don't want to do it. I got to go to the gym. But luckily my trainer is, you know, fired up enough to get me through it. I, I want you to go come to class and leave class feeling like this is this is what I do. And I'm going to, you know, take this with me everywhere I go. Um, you know, so it, I think that that is self, self-motivated people, you know, for sure. Um, I like to have conversations with people about what they're doing. I like to, you know, I like to answer questions. I like to kind of um, be challenged on what I'm making people do. And um, all that does is it makes me have to be more involved in what I'm doing, you know. Um, somebody can put a dog turd between two slices of bread and get you fired up enough to eat it, but that doesn't mean it's good for you. You know what I mean? So if I can break that thing down and, and, and give you, you know, actual nourishment, then I feel like that's going to stay with you a lot longer. So, um, yeah, I hope that, um, I hope that that hits home with some people that are watching right now. And, you know, maybe that makes a connection that I'm the kind of trainer that, uh, would be beneficial for your, for your life and your lifestyle. And I just want to help. And, uh, I'm looking for those people that fit that vein, that they're motivated for a change. They want to do something new and they just need some guidance and they need some information on what, what things that I can do, what movements that I can do, you know, what, uh, duration and, and, and volume and intensity do I need to be doing to make these changes. And, uh, that's kind of my goal with everyone. And that's the goal with the gym. And that's what I want to do. So I hope that's you. And if it is message me, leave me a comment, um, try to get a, get in contact with me and let's, let's set up a consultation. I do those for free, absolutely free. I'll come in and sit down and talk to anybody about their goals and what they want. Um, and then the next step after that is to do an evaluation of where you're at. That's free as well. Um, you know, so those can be the same day or two separate, um, separate meetings. Um, and then, yeah, we can find out what the best program and, and the ideas are for you to get going in, the, in that direction. So if that's you, hit me up. All right. I hope everybody has a great night. It's almost Thanksgiving. Let's go.